So uh, I go on to talk about something that has become all the more important for me and for all of us at Meta over the last uh, 10, 15 years, and that is uh, the human image. Who do we think we are? If we think we're separate fragments uh, living in a competitive and essentially meaningless universe, we'll never get out of the war system or any other system of violence. But if we recognize ourselves as body, mind, and spirit, which is the subject of the next section uh, of the book, then we begin to realize that we have much greater possibilities. We have much greater interconnectedness. We have vastly greater resources within us. And therefore, the stress on the environment that we're causing now is completely unnecessary. Competition between us and among ourselves is unnecessary. And above all, we have a tremendous capacity within us for nonviolence. Uh, remind me, I may have mentioned the case of Adele Termos, who was in a crowded Beirut marketplace when a suicide bomber blew himself up and everyone was panicking, looking around. Termos was there with his nine-year-old daughter, and he saw that the bomber had an accomplice, and he tackled the man, knocked him to the ground, lay on top of him, absorbed the explosion, and sacrificed his life for the lives of many others, including, of course, his own daughter. And uh, the journalist, in responding to this, said he broke human nature. Well, that's what we call the old story. In the old story, human nature was competitive and separate and so forth. But in the new story, we're deeply interconnected and a, a great act of sacrifice like that for the benefit of others is not breaking human nature, it's an expression of human nature. So I'd like to read for you a uh, quote th that comes from a spiritual teacher uh, who visited this country in the 50s from India, Swami Ramdas, delightful saint. I've read all of his works and spent a, a week or so at his ashram in South India. But he, um, in the course of many other conversations in the West, he had this to say about the human being. Now, of course, uh, if you'll forgive me, this is the 1950s, so when he says man and he, when he says man, he means person. When he says he, he means she or he. But for the sake of mellifluous reading, I'll just read what he wrote. He said, on the physical plane, man is but an animal. On the intellectual plane, he is a rational being. On the moral plane, notice moral is above intellectual, on the moral plane, he is a force for good, still higher than. On the spiritual plane, he is a radiant being full of divine bliss, full, full, divine bliss love, and light. And then he adds a very powerful conclusion, humanity's ascent from one plane to another is its natural movement. So th that for me is a profoundly true and profoundly visionary image of the human being. And if we have that in mind, it'll be easier to understand the entire theory of nonviolence. Now I went on to discuss various things that a person can do to train him or herself as a spiritual warrior, and these have now been systematized in our uh, roadmap uh, proposal in that section of our website, your metacenter.org slash roadmap. You'll find it all spelled out. In the roadmap, as I've mentioned before, we have a circle for inner personal empowerment, and then you progress from there to constructive program, and you progress from there finally to direct nonviolent resistance. And so what I say about meditation here has now become step three uh, in that uh, inner circle. And um, step five, where we invite people to assess what their strengths and weaknesses are and to go uh, into action where they feel they can be, do the most good. We're also proposing another 
dimension to that step. And I'm more and more convinced of the efficacy of this additional dimension. And that is to tell the new story whenever you get a chance. Explain why you're doing what you're doing, why you think it works, and the cumulative effect of us all telling the same story, no matter what issue we're working on, I think will bring us rapidly to a tipping point. So thank you very much. Next time uh, we talk, I think we can be wrapping up this chapter.